Welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband, and today, after a series of extremely unfortunate events, we're recovering our army. The amount we have to get is still five, and we're at four at the moment, including ourselves, so... two more to go. Generally, only a certain amount of villagers will be available to you at at higher relationships with the village, you can actually recruit in bulk. Generally, plus 10 is reserved for villagers who very, very much like you. But we have enough. You can also, while you're on the map, talk to these farmers. You can hijack them if you like, you could threaten them, or you can just go on your way. We're not an asshole, so off we go. So generally you're going to have to go to several villages to get who you want. We have the amount of soldiers that we need, but I want a little more just to be on the safe side, especially after the setbacks we've had previously. So here is a count. These are vassals of the king of whatever faction they're related to. They generally have quite large parties and we're going to go catch up with this guy to see, uh, to see some more mechanics. Here you can introduce yourself. Because we're a lady, a lot of lords will often have something to say about the fact that we're a mercenary also. Some of them will outright insult you, some of them will say they want to protect you, that kind of thing. We can challenge them to a duel in response, but that would be a very, very poor idea. Uh, we can also ask them if they have any jobs which will endear us to the faction and eventually let us get hired on as a mercenary and eventually a vassal of the faction itself. You can also ask them things about various other lords. Um, they can tell you if they've seen a related lord nearby, etc. If you don't remain independent, you will end up dealing with these vassal lords a lot, and they're kind of a pain to deal with sometimes. So I think we have enough men. And this is in part related to the fact that most of the villages around don't have anybody available to us. Honestly, the tutorial isn't all that difficult. We probably won't be needing any more men than this. I just wanted a little bit of a buffet in case we got hijacked or threatened again. Of course, you have to pay your mercenaries. Every week, you'll have to pay them their wages, and how much it is depends on how many troops you have, at what level they are, and occasionally, if you have a big enough army, morale is also a factor. You tend to pay more for armies with low morale than with high morale. So we've got all of our men ready, let's go. You can also, when you're in a city, you can stay around for a while. It costs a little bit of money to stay in the inn during your stay, but it also, it's a safe way to restore your own health and that of your armies if you need it after a, after a tough fight. So we're at the pub. This here's a traveller. He'll give you basic information about the setting, and if you're looking for a specific companion, he'll tell you where they are. 
we have no use for him at the moment. Here we have a mercenary. When you're at a pub, you can often find mercenaries just hanging out, and if you have the money, you can hire them. They will join your army. You can also talk to the tavern keeper. They will... You can either buy everybody who comes into the tavern a drink for the night, which will increase your reputation in that in that area, or you can ask them if there's anybody who needs any work done nearby, and they will go through this extremely long spiel until they're done telling you everything that they know. Back to this guy. So we have to hunt down some bandits. It's actually a lot easier than it seems. We don't just have to hunt any bandits, they're a specific group of bandits. As you can see, they spawn immediately. Special event troops will generally be coloured blue. So they're, they're pretty easy to find on the map. Time for fighting. So if you notice down in the top left, it says that our renown value for this fight is zero. Obviously, fights come with a renown value. The more dangerous and the more dangerous the fight, generally, the more renown you'll get for winning it. So fights against bands of robbers are they won't make you very famous, but fights against noble lords and their armies absolutely come with a lot of renown attached to them. As you can see, when you fire an arrow, it actually tells you how far the shot was, which is pretty neat. I enjoy that. Anyway, there's not much to say about this fight. It's extremely easy. It's four robbers who are basically naked guys wearing hats and who generally just throw rocks and they just throw rocks at you. We won! So we found out where their hideout is. Now all that's left is to go there. We can take prisoners if we have prisoner management skill, but we don't. We can also upgrade our military here. They've gotten enough experience to level up. It costs a small amount of money to upgrade the troops, sort of as an abstraction of paying for their new equipment. At lower levels, it really isn't much. You can regroup your troops here. Loot! Because these are pretty low level guys, you don't really get much from them. Just some cheap boots and weapons, but every little helps, especially after the setbacks we've had.
Sometimes this happens. To be honest, I just wanted to get rid of the things. That was probably an incredibly poor idea. I thought for a second that we had to go talk to this guy to progress the plot, but we don't. The location of the hideout is already has already been marked on our map. It's just that past me is an idiot who didn't realize this. So let's wait around for a little while to recover our health. Two of our soldiers got wounded in the last fight and they deserve a chance to rest up. As you can see, we paid two dinars for, for the inn for the night. I don't know why I'm coming. This happens sometimes when you enter a tavern. A drunk will just attack you. They're fairly easy to dispatch. We also gained a level. That's what you get for messing with Joanne. So we've been given the guy's sword and whatever money he had on him, which normally isn't much. Here's me trying desperately to find the lair and realizing a bit too late that the uh, the location is written in your notes. Found it. Might as well grab some more recruits while we're here. If you have a greater variety of food, it contributes to your troops morale and morale is good. So. Let's do this. All of the stuff it said at the beginning of the battle doesn't actually matter. The only real disadvantage we're at, at the moment is that we're not on our horse, but that would be detrimental in this terrain anyway. This guy's up here throwing rocks at us. He must be dealt with.
And now we just have to wait for this guy's idiot brother to show up. So we got a lot of stuff for this. doing some pants-based accounting. As you can see, we got all of their rocks. We got all of their knives. Most of the stuff, again, it's kind of trash, but every little penny helps. We've run out of inventory space, but that's okay. We're leaving a couple of hats behind. Here you can talk to your troops to find out what stats that they have. Here's us. We have a level. We're not going to spend it yet though, I'm going to leave it for the next person in line. Here we have a ransom broker. When we have prisoners, when we eventually get a prisoner management skill, we'll be able to sell our prisoners to him for a little bit of extra money. If one of our companions gets captured, we can also ransom them from these guys. Hooray, we did it. So the merchant has one more favour to ask of us. Again, it's free experience and it's free money, so there's no reason really not to do it, unless you specifically have it out for this guy for some reason. So this guy's plan is basically to capture whatever corrupt guards he can find and present them directly to the king in order to see them brought to justice. 
we're going to help by helping him helping him acquire these people You can do this straight away, but if you need to rest after uh, to fight with bandits, you, you are given the opportunity to. Let's go. This fight is kind of... It's kind of annoying. Towns are generally quite large and by the time... By the time you make it to an opponent, they've already been cut down by the 15 million townsfolk that are around. Did not notice this guy. He says to stay out of town for a while, but literally nothing happens if you immediately come back to town. This is all just fluff. We're now free to do whatever we like. And by whatever we like, I mean I am now free to send the save file to the next person in my list. They will play the game for two weeks and update us on Joanne's adventures. They will then send the save file to the next person in the list. And we'll see how long it takes for us to become queen. So thanks for watching! <laughs>